Okay, so we have the chromatic scale with those 12 notes. How does that apply to solfege? So if we already know do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, we just got to remember a rule is that our sharpened version of our solfege note is going to contain an I and we're going to pronounce it like E. Like we have T, T, I, we, we pronounce that T. So we're also going to pronounce this I as, as E. So if we look at do, now we're going to look at D is going to be our sharpened version. So I'm going to use the C major scale here to kind of help you understand this a little more, to make this a little less confusing. So if we're at the note C, that's our do. Okay, that's our first scale degree. But then if we're going up chromatically, the second chromatic note is going to be our C sharp, of course, which is going to be D. So we're going to go Do, D, Re is going to be our D. And then we're going to go from Re, we're going to call this the I version of that, because there's a sharp after D, D sharp. We're going to have Re. Then we go to Mi and E, there's no sharp after E. So we're just going to go straight from Mi to Fa. And as you can also see, we are calling Do now D. Okay, it's that I, it's that D. So when we're going from one note to the next note, notice that it's a it's an I, it's a it's a D to a Re. But look at it when we have Mi to Fa without the sharp. When there's not that sharpened note, we have an I here. We have a Mi. So as you can see, E goes to F with no sharp. So we just go Mi, Fa. So let's start from the beginning. We have Do, D, Re, Re, Mi, Fa. Next, from Fa, we do have an F sharp. So we go to Fi. And then we go to G, which is our Sol. And then our, our I version of their Sol is going to be C, which is going to be our G sharp, which takes us to La, then Li. And then again, we have this T. So again, we have this I version, which is telling us that it's one note away from the next note. So it's good to know that when you're thinking of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, when you think of Mi and you think of Ti, you know that there's no note going from Mi to Fa, and there's no note going from Ti to Do. Because we have an M, I, and a T, I, so we're going to call it the Mi and the T, so we know that it's only one away from the next note. So that's looking at solfege ascending. And typically when you're looking at flats, you're going to look at descending. And this can actually make more sense. But in the beginning, it can be extremely confusing. So let's just walk through it. Now we're going to be going backwards. So as a reference point, if you look up here, we're going to be doing the same thing, but going backwards. So as an understanding what's going on here, we just went from C up, up, up to a, our other C. Now we're going from this C and we're going down, down, down to that C down below. So we're just descending notes. And because we're descending, now our flat comes after the next note. What do I mean by this? Like in sharps, you have C, C sharp, D. Normally in flats, you'd have C, then you'd have D flat, and then you'd have D. So the D flat will come before the D. But when we're descending, we'd go D, D flat, C. So as you can see here, I have the major scale and now it's descending. So now instead of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, I have Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. So it's just backwards. And the rule for flats is that we're gonna add an E to the original that we had. So instead of doing Sol, now I'm going to do Se. This applies for all of them, except for where we already have Re, which now we're going to call it Ra, R-A. So as you can see, drawing out the notes kind of makes this easier because remember, we don't have a C flat and we don't have an F flat. So to think about that, we just don't have a note in between Do and T, and we don't have a note between Fa and Mi. This is easy because when we're ascending, we're thinking about the same exact thing, but backwards. We're thinking there's no note between mi and fa, and there's no note between ti and do. So if you're not really into singing, this probably is not very important to you. But if you are interested or want to sing, uh, this can be very important to you.